Um, hello everyone. So, um, I wanted to discuss about um, you know a lot of uh, issues that uh, mothers may face you know and uh, one of the most important issue that uh, I come across is that uh, you know uh, mothers they worry that children have become picky eaters. Okay. So, uh, what is picky eaters? Picky eaters means their children would want to eat what they want to eat and not what is offered to them. Okay. And uh, they would not, they would refuse to eat uh, if they are not given their food of choice. Uh, and uh, this is a real issue because you know like of course in, in the US we call it terrible too. So, it starts you know around age of 2 uh, and um, I feel that this is completely avoidable. You can prevent it completely and the way uh, I recommend is that uh, from beginning from 6 months onward you know uh, mother has to remember that uh, she is the boss. Uh, she will basically decide uh, what uh, child wants to eat. Okay. Uh, and if that kind of uh, discipline continues, uh, then you will not see a lot of this picky eating. Uh, so, for example, you know once baby realizes that uh, he or she has more control, you know, uh, and you will see around say 18 months of age, uh, you know, and some children if they are very smart even a little bit earlier, you know, a lot of time they will reject certain food and then uh, sometime they would basically prefer certain food you know and mothers they obviously I mean uh, I do not blame them but you know mothers have this tendency that oh baby does not like this so ok I am not going to give this food but I am baby likes this food I am going to make that more often ok. So, what she is doing is basically uh, she is trying to kind of uh, do what baby likes. Okay, uh, and uh, somehow then eventually what happens is that then baby prefers of course more sweet taste, you know taste which are much more palatable. So, baby would prefer those tastes and mother eventually end up giving only those kind of food. So, in such situation what I recommend that baby should basically be given all the food which are cooked at home. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, you know let, let baby taste it you know and uh, not to force it. So, if baby say takes one bite and then baby did not like it then leave it. You do not need to force the baby to take it, but it does not mean that you know baby did not like it. So, now you give say fruit or you give something which is sweet you know so, so just so that baby did not like it. I feel that you know it has to be done very smartly very uh, you know uh, very slowly you know. Uh, but to continue to give that food which baby did not like uh, you know for at least next 10 to 15 attempts in next you know one, one month, two months you know because what happens sometimes the new taste it takes baby for a long time to like that taste you know uh, and uh, like for example, I will just give you my personal exam, uh, example where uh, my daughter uh, they, she did not like uh, you know uh, kind of bangan you know eggplant. And uh, of course, it, it was we had made this uh, kind of routine in our house that even if uh, she did not like one particular food, any time if I made it, she had to try at least one teaspoon. Of course, this is possible when they become a little bit older, but you know as I am saying that all this habit starts from childhood. Okay, So, make sure that you know you give this. Uh, you know try this food very often and then make a rule you know for older than 2, 2 and a half you can start making rules that ok if you do not like it it is ok, but she has to try or he has to try at least 1 teaspoon anytime if that food is cooked in the house ok. So, that way many times what happens is after maybe few attempts and you know if you make it in a different way maybe they just start liking it and they then they start accepting that new food. So, you know do not get disappointed if child do not like a new food. Point is to you keep exposing that baby to that new food uh, frequently. So, eventually they kind of the food grows on their test, taste bud and then they, they start liking it. Okay. So, that is one thing. Second thing is that uh, many times you know what happens when this is I am talking about little bit older children uh, you know even, uh, even around uh, say 2 years of age or so uh, they start demanding the food that they like. Okay. So, for example, um, many children say no, no I do not want to have this vegetable, I want to have you know this alu sabji or I want to have you know this uh, pasta or I want to have this you know because I like this. Uh, and of course, I mean family would want to make a child happy. So, what they would do is to they would not give uh, 
you know, food which is cooked at home and they would make something special for the child which a child prefers, okay. Now I do not like that. I mean once in a while if you if as a family you prepare something special and uh, if child is enjoying that is fine. But on a routine basis I do not recommend that you know you cook something uh, special for the child uh, differently separately. Whatever you cook for the family you have to teach baby or child to eat that same kind of food you know you do not want to have special khana for uh, a child or special food for mother-in-law and special food for father-in-law and you know all that is um, it is I think it is uh, very much uh, spoiling you know and if child uh, grows up in that kind of environment you know he or she will learn the same thing okay. So have a, like a family pot and teach that child that this is what it is if he wants to eat, eat otherwise he can sleep or you know hungry uh, he will be fine you know uh, do not spoil the habit. Um, and once they understand that uh, their demand is not kind of taken care of uh, they will learn to eat okay. So do not give in to the demand uh, as I said special occasions are different you know so if, if you have made special uh, dishes for any occasion. Uh, of course give it to the child but it should be as per your uh, you know recommendation as your as you wish you know not child's wish okay. So this is one way of preventing your uh, picky eating uh, and uh, another thing is uh, many mothers have this habit of uh, giving uh, milk to the child you know I am talking about again children who have come off for breast milk so after 2 to 2 and a half years of age uh, and they have a habit of drinking big glass of milk early in the morning okay. Now uh, I do not recommend having milk uh, first thing in the morning because uh, of course they are rushing to school right and we want them to have proper breakfast in the morning. So what I recommend is to give them proper breakfast you know whatever breakfast that you have prepared healthy breakfast you know avoid too much of poha and upma it is all basically avoid too much of starch give them lot more protein and good fats. Uh, so you can give that breakfast in the morning and then give them milk okay uh, but do not fill the stomach with milk first because that child will not have breakfast and that will cause uh, you know that milk uh, will dip that uh, blood glucose level and then again they will be hungry within hour or two okay. So do not fill their stomach just with milk okay. Uh, third point that I want to uh, kind of uh, discuss is uh, many children they have a habit of uh, you know children who have come off breast milk early on you know and they have a habit of drinking too much milk and uh, even even older children you know they some of them have a habit of drinking 1 liter of milk a day or maybe sometime you know 1 and a half liters of milk in all different forms so not necessarily dairy milk but you know sometimes they have lot more paneer they have lot more dahi they have cheese so you have to calculate all the day okay. So I recommend that children should not have a dairy product more than 500 ml per day okay. So uh, obviously under 2 years of age uh, it is mother's milk but other dairy products are your dahi, your cheese, you know your, um, your of course your curd, uh, your cheese, your paneer. Uh, so uh, you know just combine all that uh, and it should not be more than 500 ml. Okay, because what we have seen that babies who get lot more dairy products say beyond 500 ml uh, they have a risk of developing iron deficiency anemia and we do not want iron deficiency anemia in young children because then they will have a problem of a kind of a, you know cognition uh, issue and it will be irre irre irreversible damage to cognition, cognition means the intelligence okay. So just, just remember to not to give too much of uh, dairy products uh, just be, you know uh, you have to you have to control okay and some children they just love dairy products you know and they have this habit of just taking that bottle all day long and they keep sipping on it. Uh, another point which is important is the juice. Now uh, please avoid uh, fruit juices in uh, young children uh, you know this are all basically uh, sugar, uh, water, nothing else you know so it's all it's all water and fructose there is no fiber there's nothing everything is kind of drained out so avoid uh, giving anything in a liquid form best thing is to really you know uh, you can just give uh, soft uh, fruit uh, you know cut it and they can they can chew it and if child is small you know you can just 
make like a just mash it with hand and children can have it ok. So, do not give fru uh, uh, juice or fruit juice or any of those liquid uh, liquid food. Okay. Uh, another point is uh, tea and coffee. Now, many times we see that a lot of these children are given tea and coffee, uh, you know, early on, especially in uh, urban slum that, uh, you know, we work in and uh, they start with tea for by 4 months of age, you know, uh, even older children, they have a habit of drinking tea. Uh, please avoid uh, giving tea to children uh, and even adults too because, they, I mean, obviously not with the food which is high in on, uh, iron, you know, because it will prevent the absorption of iron. Iron, okay, so that one point is important about not to give uh, tea or coffee or I mean another thing also which I see is a lot of these mothers have the habit of giving um, you know junk food. So they start with uh, you know biscuits and they start with a lot of this uh, junk food uh, very early on. So again, please talk to mothers and tell them about uh, you know why we do not want to give junk food to babies, uh, you know they are completely uh, they lack nutrient uh, density, uh, there is are empty calories and it will cause more problem than uh, you know any, any other uh, kind of help you know. So, uh, thank you so much and uh, if you have any suggestion recommendation please write to us, thank you.